We're back here. This is the semifinals for the wheel stand competition. And yes, the Camaro did squeeze in, but we'll have some very tough competition here to win this one today. Schubert and Garvin, Carr and Goffinette will match up here in the semifinals. And that's a situation. They look like they are pairs. They are matched up only by way of ladder competition. Here's Ted Garvin and that Motion Engineering 2000 Chevrolet Camaro. There's the spray, baby. I don't know if he had nitrous air or not, but he certainly didn't do that in the first round. He got, something, he got something dragging on the back. Watch it. This thing just started up kind of slow, and then all of a sudden about midway, a bam, man. It's like he found another 500 horsepower. <laughs> it must have hit the spray. Not sure exactly what happened, but in any case, that thing definitely was dragging the bumper. Comes close to the wall, and Ted Garvin gets out of the motor engineering machine. Man, that was a hard hit on the back and on the front. Jason Schubert coming up next, and Schubert is always a car that is in it, man. You can never count this guy out. And it looks like the car is going pretty straight. That's a pretty difficult thing to do. Yeah, it really is when you, you know, in the case where you have no wheelie bars, it's all kids of purpose. <laughs> body shop so he fixed it once he can fix it again. yeah the last time he fixed it he fixed it a lot more than what he'll have to hear but Jason all over the place then goes violently to the right unloads the tires and boom right there into the guard wall wow tough break for Jason I tell you what that was always and always is an early pick for the championship Larry Goff and that will see if he does a better job here in the semifinals better job. Yeah, he's better right there, no question. The battle score of 15 overall. Now the judges are scoring this baby on the sideline. And right now you got to think that Jason Carr, now in the heads up competition, Carr took out Gerald. be right there with one of the longest wheel stands we've ever seen on this show. I mean, listen to it, man. He just feathers that throttle perfectly. An excellent job. Great control here. Unbelievable. Watch the groove and watch the car stay in the center until he finally lifts. This will be great. Watch that right leg. Oh, what a ride, baby. That is awesome. He's even working the shifter in there, man. All right, so the finals get us down to Schubert and Carr, two great wheel stand vehicles here. And I don't have any clue how you are going to beat Jason Carr, unless, of course, we mentioned it before, Jason Schubert's been doing this for a long, long time and has provided us with a number of thrills throughout his wheel standing competition season. Shot. You know, he always gets most violent because he does do some violent wheel stands. He does. He's on the bumper, unloads the tires, back up in the air. you got to try to control your horsepower here. And you know, they've got all these cars about as light as they can get them. And Jason being a body man by trade, I'm going to tell you, that car is so detailed, it can win the Detroit Automotive. It is that nice. You almost hate to see it do a wheel stand. Jason Carr, here we go. Final round. So far, Carr with the longest, most violent, all of them together. He's doing it again. Man, just three spectacular wheel stands out of that one. And he had, had a, a perfect bumper, score. <laughs> that back bumper is wore out. It is shot. Carr had a perfect score of 30 on his previous run. No other car has had a score of 30. Picks up a 27 here. The judges will compile the score again in Carr. Great shot. Jason, congratulations. You are the Lucas Oil on the Edge winner today. Tell me how your day went and what happened. We uh, left out of La Porte at 5.30 this morning, come down here okay, with intentions to do good, Schumacher. not with any intention to even make it past first round with all the heavy hitters that they had come out In today. The and the stars were lined up. You know, somebody was looking down on me, what have you. Car went out, rips the front end off the ground and just starts running with it. I'm, doing the best I can to drive the car and keep it straight down the track. 
Well, you looked in control. Everything looked great, and I'm sure we were going to see more of you. Oh, yeah. Definitely.